hello everyone and welcome back to my channel here is another very basic lecture on animal breeding in this lecture I will talk about the basic tools used by the animal breeders to improve the population of animals as it is very basic lecture so I will give you an overview of selection and its types and I will also uh, give you a very basic information on mating systems so let's start as you know that the major objective of animal breeding is to produce offspring with desirable traits so animal breeders are not only interested in improving individual animals but they are always interested in improving the population of animals especially the next generation of animals so to improve the population of animals or the next generation of animals uh, animal breeders mainly use two different tools the first and very important tool used by the animal breeders is selection and the other tool is mating so selection can be defined as the preferential use of animals for the production of next generation and in selection animal breeders actually make three type of decisions they decide that which individual will become the parent of next generation in simple words we can say that animal breeders select few individuals which are superior in some traits from the population to, uh, to make them the parent of next generation secondly they also decide that how many offspring these selected individual will be allowed to produce and how long will these selected individual remain in the herd or flock of animals and at which time they will need a replacement for these breeding individuals so in selection animal breeders mainly make three type of ma major decisions the selection of animals how many offspring an animal will be allowed to produce and how long a selected individual will be remained in the population in mating animal breeders decide that which of the selected males will be bred to which of the selected females so we decide that which of the particular selected male will be crossed to the which of the particular female so let's discuss different types of selection used in traditional animal breeding as this is an overview lecture so i will not give you the more details on selection i will only provide the basic information on selection so the very basic type of selection is phenotypic selection that is only used in traditional animal breedings nowadays we have different type of selection methods which are highly advanced and i will make another lecture to discuss those type of selection for this lecture i will only be focused on very basic information used in animal breeding so in phenotypic selection animals are selected solely on their phenotype or performance for example if you want to improve winning weight in animals and you want to do a, a phenotypic selection what will you do you will measure the phenotypes on winning weight of all the animals and you will rank animals on the basis of their individual winning weight and you will only select those animals which have highest weaning weight the males with the highest weaning weight and the females with the highest weaning weight and you will only cross these selected individuals to produce next generation and in this way the next generation will be improved they will have higher weaning weight compared to first generation so this is a very simple type of selection 
there are also few drawbacks of phenotypic selection because there are some traits on which the phenotypic information is not available or it is very difficult to measure phenotypes so to make selection for those traits we we can use the information on the closely related individuals of that animal for example there are few traits like carcass traits which cannot be measured in the lifetime of an animal they can only be measured when an animal is died or it, it is slaughtered so at that time that animals cannot be used for breeding purposes so to make selection for these type of traits we we can use the information on very closely related individuals of that individual there are some there are few sex limited traits sex limited traits are those traits which are only expressed in one sex either in males or females for example milk production is a sex limited traits because it is only expressed in females but males but males also have genes for milk production and they also genetically contribute in transferring those genes to their daughters so mil males have genes but these genes are not expressed in males so to make selection for milk production what we will do we can use the information on direct relatives of males like direct relatives are those which are the parents are the offspring of that individual or we can use the information on the collateral relatives or indirect relatives which are like siblings aunts and uncles and they are sometimes the cousins so these are the uh, traditional type of selection which are which were used in animal breeding so for this lecture i conclude the to selection topic at this point because i will make an other very detailed lecture on the advanced techniques which are used nowadays to select animals so now we will discuss different type of mating systems as it is the second tool which is used by the animal breeders to improve animal populations so mating system can be defined as a set of rules for mating and there are different types of mating system but in this lecture i will give you an overview about the most commonly used mating system which are inbreeding outbreeding and crossbreeding inbreeding can be defined as the mating of closely related individuals for example the mating of parents with the offspring or the mating of brother sister would be inbreeding and the other type of mating system is outbreeding in this type of mating system you cross in two unrelated individuals within the same breed and the third type of mating system is cross breeding in this type of mating system we cross individuals from two different breeds for example we can cross the individuals from sahiwal cattle and from the cholistani cattle the offspring that would be produced from this cross would be a hybrid or cross bred individual so this was a very basic lecture on the tools used by the animal breeders to improve the population i hope this lecture was very useful for you thank you very much and if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please do subscribe it thank you very much